Alright, so hello guys, Texas here with another video. Today we've got the sixth round of the multi class endurance championship uh, season three on uh, Blank Cant 24 hours on the PS4. And uh, yeah, we start off here uh, right away, and uh, I don't get a too bad start. I don't lose out any positions, and we just need to take it easier with the brakes on these cars. Uh, Elmhis here misses the breaking point, and I make up one position from. I think his name is Jed 1A, uh, he's a reserve driver. And I make up one position from him because he went out uh, in front of the corner, or, uh, he, he just went off. Uh, and then uh, Picano nudge Doodle in the back, uh, or something, I don't know what happened really. And Doodle touched me in the back, so I spinned out, and now I'm back into uh, last place in GT1, so uh, this is not fun at all, really. And yeah, this is not what you expect uh, when you start in 6th position, you just get taken out 2 times and lose that position, so yeah. I don't know what to do about it really, but the race is 1.5 hour long, so it should be possible to gain a few positions. Um, yeah, uh, a few laps later, I catch up to Doodle and Picano that are battling for 4th position, and yeah, these these cars, I, I'm going to tell you, don't ever drive a brawler in the rain uh, with current time on uh, for about one and a half hour. You, you'll you get drained out. You, It it, it wasn't really f fun, to be fair, because uh, everyone just made mistakes all over the place and it was so hard. If you if you just made a small mistake, it was it's so hard to recover with these cars, really. Uh, so, yeah. Um, there, I didn't really get why we had the rain uh, as a 40% chance for this round when there was brawlers with already awful bricks. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I also came into the season, like mid-season. Um, as you may can see, I'm in round 6 and this is the first race I do in uh, season 3. And this is because uh, first, uh, in West Coast Classics with uh, Mike Bauer, Drupert and myself. Uh, first, Shaggy was in there and uh, he left because he couldn't make it really. He needed to sort it out his life and stuff, uh, which he's doing now. And also Nismo uh, replaced him, but he he didn't feel he wanted to do this. Uh, yeah, just personal stuff. So uh, I got the spot really and no one else responded. So yeah, it, I'm a GT2 reserve. Uh, so. I didn't really expect to drive in GT1 as a permanent driver, but now I have the spot and I'm here and I hope that I can do my best to keep up with these guys because I'm not really GT1 pace. Uh, but it's mainly about consistently and consistently, consistency, what am I talking about? My English is so bad at sometimes. Alright, so yeah, we're keeping up with them. Uh, a few laps later I made up positions from crashes and whatnot, uh, but then I choke here. Just a little touch with the front tire and the back tire, and I spin out and lose out the position to El Mister and a GT3 car which we just left. Uh, but I go past him quite easily here. Um, yeah, and I think it's yeah here I choke again uh, a few laps later. It's so hard to not sh make any mistakes with these cars. It's you can't really judge where to brake and whatnot. And uh, yeah, 11th lap now, we're more than halfway through the race and El Nema makes a mistake on the first corner like I did before and I managed to pass him, so I'm up into 6th position. So it's not too bad, I'm not really pleased with it at the moment, but yeah. So a few laps later we come up to this main straight, uh, we've gone 50 minutes into the race and uh, yeah, a mess DC. Uh, happen here, so I'll just leave the gameplay and live commentary with it. That was third and third. Oh, no, oh no, 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 the same thing happened as it did in uh, the previous episode of, uh, or this previous round on North Loop with uh, Coupes. 
Um, I don't know if it's GTA or if it's the internet provider in UK that has some issues, but yeah. Uh, Kate now restarted as a host because uh, he doesn't live in UK. And uh, yeah, I started in seventh, where I was, no, sixth place where I was um, when when the DC mass DC occurred. So yeah, and um, yeah, we've got Picano in front of us and El Mister and. Uh, I take it easy here if we don't want to lose our time by going too wide because as I said before these cars and the brakes on these cars is so hard to judge even for the good drivers here in GT1 and I don't really see myself as a GT1 driver I'm more of a GT2 driver but yeah it's it's a learning experience really and um, yeah Picano and El Mister there have some issues so I managed to go through and I'm up at the fourth now, so if I can stay here, it's a quite good result. As we have Sean Calavera and no, Sean is the same person as Calavera. Fuck We have got Smithy and Calavera and Doodle in front of us, so yes, finishing in fourth is not too bad, really. I didn't really get any practice for these rounds in the rain. I I practiced uh, a few laps in the in the dry, and I. Thought I got a pretty decent hold of the track and the car, but uh, in the rain, no, I wasn't. I not, wasn't so good in the rain really. And as I said, the the brakes on this car are just awful in the rain. And this, they're they're also awful in the dry. But yeah, I don't know how Smith and Calavera especially managed to uh, make it as good uh, as they did because they 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 were so good with the brakes. They they know how to break with this car really and they are also quick so yeah uh, but anyway as you may saw there I made a mistake which put El Mister and Picano uh, up in front of him now so I'm right behind them now I get judged in the back from uh, Jed 1A and uh, I'm back into 6th place so it's just as you can see we're just all over the place spinning around with this car um, and almost a lap later we're still behind there Picano hits that inside and I go into him I didn't know what to do really I there was no time for me to react to really uh, so I was behind Pic I took out Picano there uh, because he really took out himself in front of me uh, so we lost our time to the guys in front now but yeah it's still quite a while to go it's at least three four la more laps uh, so it shouldn't be a problem. AJ Axel uh, leaves there or disconnects and I also think Forte did uh, or he actually did it in the start so yeah the the top guy Forte who is in first in GT3 he disconnected so that's unfortunate unfortunate stuff there and uh, what I'm trying to do now is just keep up with Picano because he's, he, he said he didn't get any practice uh, in the rain uh, but the thing is he's quick anyway, he's one of the quickest drivers in this game, so if I just can manage to ke keep up with him, I'm, I'm more than happy really. Um, yeah, so I'm right behind him now, uh, if he just makes a small mistake I'll go through. And we've also got Jed uh, 1A behind us a few seconds. Uh, and then Picano goes uh, a little bit tight into the corner and hits the inside barrier, so I managed to pass him there up into 6th place and a few laps later or one lap later uh, El Mister makes a mistake here and I managed to catch up uh, but I oversteer here and uh, Pigano is right behind me so I blocked the inside here so he can't go past me but I, I do get the corner a bit uh, bad so I try to meet a speed boost but I fail uh, so Pigano managed to pass me and uh, I'm a bit uh, angry at this point because just a small mistake and Picano is right in front of me again and a few laps later yet again I think this actually is the last lap we've got El Mister and Nemo in front of me now uh, just by a second or so and we've got Picano behind, behind and then I go wide here into the tree lose out about one second or one and a half second so we've got Picano right on my bumper now you can probably see his lights and lightning up my back here and I lost out time to Nemo and El Mister, so I shouldn't be able to catch them. So now in the last Sandy Shore section here with a few corners, 
uh, quite tricky with the brawler because it understeers like a bit in the rain. Uh, so, and it sometimes oversteers, so it's really hard to judge. Uh, so I'm just going here, not too fast because I don't want to make mistakes, but also not too quick because if you push this car and just push it a little bit too much, it, it can just fuck you up so bad and you just lose out ti time really. So yeah, we've got four four corners or something to go and uh, I cut too much into the corner and I almost uh, choked on the inside barrier there and Picon is right behind me now. And I missed a breaking point here as well for this car. It's so hard to judge when you've got someone in the back with this car. I'm going to manage to go through and I clip his uh, back there because the horrible brakes yet again it can screw you over so bad. Uh, so I had to let Picano pass again and we're on the final corner now. Uh, so as you can see it's in front of me now and it, I only can manage to go through if he makes a mistake but he doesn't. Uh, why would he do that? So yeah, I lost out of position to him in the third last corner and I'm quite annoyed with that but yeah it is what it is. Picano is a top quality driver and he just um, finished in three tenths of a second in front of me so yeah uh, more people had issues so GG to Smithy for winning GT1 uh, Evil Tunic got him first in GT2 and first in GT3 was Jonti so yeah uh, thank you guys for watching uh, I'll try to uh, upload these videos and I'm also going to stream this uh, races live on Twitch so yeah just check out my Twitch link in the description and I'll see you next time guys Peace.